This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update. It is Monday, October 15th, uh, 2012. This is a live view inside the space station flight control room here at the Johnson Space Center. Right now, Clay Anderson, the uh, Capcom, is talking with the crew up on board the station and giving them some instructions about some repair work they're going to be doing. Standing beside him is Bob Dempsey, the uh, flight director. The uh, crew is very busy today working on a variety of different experiments, unloading some cargo from the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. Yuri Malinchenko is working on what's called the relaxation experiment. This is uh, not what it sounds like. This is actually an experiment that observes the Earth below and takes a look at chemical reactions in the upper reaches of the atmosphere. He is also getting ready to do some uh, leak checks on some of the valves in the Russian segment. Sonny Williams, who is the current commander of Expedition 33, is working on some air quality monitoring. They do this from time to time just to make sure that uh, the air aboard the station is acceptable. They also sample the uh, surfaces there uh, from time to time. She's going to be working on replacing the water processor assembly pump, which is what uh, the crew is talking with now uh, with the ground controllers. She's also configuring some software on the Express laptop computers. This is one of the uh, laptops on board that helps maintain and run all the different uh, experiment racks inside. She's going to be transferring some samples from the Melfi-1. This is one of the minus 80 laboratory freezers that is on board that uh, keeps samples at uh, extremely cold temperatures to uh, what's called the uh, Glacier, which is another uh, basically just a freezer for different samples. She's also going to be working with what is called the Micro-6 experiment. This is something that uh, was flown up on board the uh, SpaceX Dragon. It's one of the newest experiments on board. Uh, it takes a look at uh, a certain kind of yeast uh, that is present in pretty much everybody's body. Uh, this uh, yeast that's called Candida albicans helps us maintain uh, a healthy uh, personal ecosystem inside ourselves. But when our immune systems get stressed, uh, this yeast can start uh, sort of growing out of control and cause infections. So they're going to be taking a look at how these yeast grow in space uh, compared with how they grow here on Earth. The hope is that scientists on the ground can learn how to combat infections because as we look to go further into space, spend more time uh, both in low Earth orbit and also uh, as we look toward going to an asteroid, maybe Mars one of these days, controlling infections is going to be really important. So they're going to take a look at how this yeast behaves in space and how they can combat uh, infections using this yeast as an example. In addition to the Micro 6, Aki Hoshide, another member of Expedition 33, is working on uh, some medical experiments, including one that takes a look at energy levels up on board the station. What they do is examine uh, what the astronauts eat, uh, basically taking a look at what they ingest in their bodies, and they record in very detailed form uh, exactly how they expend that energy. So basically taking a look at the uh, mathematical equation of how much energy goes in and how much energy the astronauts expend. The goal of this experiment is to determine exactly what the food requirements are for the astronauts uh, up on board the space station while they live up there uh, for about six months. He is also relocating another uh, piece of equipment from another experiment called Elite S2. Uh, this is an experiment that takes a look at posture and body motion, and uh, the astronauts put on different kinds of markers, almost like uh, how they do the movies these days in Hollywood, and it determines exactly what their body position is and records that through a series of cameras. Hoshide is also going to be recharging some of the batteries uh, in the spacesuits inside the Quest airlock. He's also going to be helping uh, Williams transfer those samples we talked about from the Melfi to uh, one of the uh, glaciers on board. He is also going to be transferring the glacier that flew up on board Dragon. This is an actual uh, big box that uh, we've talked about before during our Dragon coverage uh, that will eventually be returned to Dragon full of samples that have been on board the station and uh, those samples will finally come home after waiting for Dragon to arrive. That is uh, one of the biggest benefits that the SpaceX Dragon vehicle uh, gives us is the ability to actually return science from the International Space Station and bring it back for further research here on Earth. And finally, Aki Hoshide is going to be uh, taking a look at another uh, experiment that came up on board. The Dragon vehicle is called the Resist Tubule Experiment. This is a plant experiment that uh, takes a look at how different types of plants grow uh, up in space and the lack of gravity. 50% of the energy that uh, plants require goes into just maintaining their structure and just overcoming the battle uh, with gravity. But of course, up in space, uh, that is not a worry and not an issue. Those plants uh, do not have to uh, react to gravity. 
So they're going to take a look at the uh, actual cell structure of these plants as they grow uh, without the influence of gravity, uh, how they use that energy, and uh, it will impact uh, genetically modified plants and other things like that here on Earth. Uh, in the future. Of course, if you would like to take a look at any of these experiments and read more about them, uh, see some pictures of the astronauts and the crew members uh, working with these experiments, just log on to the NASA website at www.nasa.gov slash station. Once again, www.nasa.gov slash station and just click on science and research.